Hi, Visit fans, it's Queen Belle, and today I'm going to be doing another makeup haul. So, I went to Five and Below the other day and got some pretty cool stuff that I wanted to share with you guys. So, the first thing that I want to show you is my palettes that I got. If I can get them. So, I, had, I got three palettes, and I believe they were all $3.00. And I'll show you them real quick. And what I have them in is like a little letter holder. So you can just put them in here. And I put them by like height. And you can't really see the back one, but. So I got this hack off of Pinterest, I think, to do this. So now I'm gonna show these to you. So this is a really great hack if you just have your palettes like stacked up or just spread all over your dresser or somewhere like that countertop then you can just get a little letter holder and put your palettes in there. I thought that was a genius idea. So the three that I have are Colormate's makeup palette and it has a little camo design and inside it has two brushes and a variety of different eyeshadows and blushes, and it has a little mirror too. Hang, this little mirror, and then this is what colors it comes with, and then two little brush thingies. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> so that's what this one looks like, and it has eyeshadow and blush. That's what it says on the back. So there you go. There's that one. Then I have this. It says Perfusion Cosmetics and it has 28 eyeshadows, 18 come on, 18 neutral eyeshadows, two brush and sponge applicators and four blush powders. So it has 50 colors. It says, I don't know. So, inside, this one has the biggest mirror, and if I were using, like, say, this palette or some other things, I would probably use this mirror because right now I don't have a mirror in my room, which is kind of sad. But anyway, it has a lot of bright colors. So, apparently, there's supposed to be 28 of these colors, and then 18, yeah, 18 neutral colors, which are right here. And then two brush and sponge, if I can read, applicators, which are right here. One, two. And then you have the blush. So this one's probably my favorite palette that I have. And then a, the front looks like this. And I thought that this was pretty cool because it kind of looks like a magazine. And on the back, it just ha like has a bunch of stuff like warnings. And I don't know why makeup would have warnings, but apparently it does. And then it just tells you about, like, the eyeshadow and blush. Lots of tiny words that I do not have the time to read. <laughs> and then I have this Eye and Cheek palette, which I like this one a lot, too, because I am no pro at putting on makeup. And it just tells you, like, the steps to putting on makeup, and I can read them to you. And it says, one, use using a small eyeshadow brush or up hair, apply the lightest shade to the inner core of the eye. Two is apply the middle shade to the entire lid and blend up, ending just above the crease. Three, apply the deepest shade to the outer third of the lid, smudge along the bottom lash line for a soft, smoky effect. And then the fourth and last step is using a blush brush, swirl a coordinating blush onto the apples of your cheeks to complete your look. So I thought that that was pretty neat so that I kind of have a reference of what to do to put on like makeup because like I said earlier I am not a pro <laughs> so I kind of just did my own thing there for a while. So it kind of has these really cool colors. It has some darker colors. It has a, like a pinky color, browns, gray. You get the idea. So I like that one. So I'm just going to go ahead and put these back here. And then another thing that I got was all these little brushes. 
And this was, I believe it was $3, which isn't a lot for one, two, three, four, five brushes. So it comes with this blush brush that I use for blush. And they're really soft and I like that. <laughs> and then it comes with this little eyebrow brush and comb thing. Then it has two smaller brushes. You can see that. One, and the second one's a little bigger than that one. And then, I think that this is pretty cool. So you, so this is like a double-sided thingy. This side is a beauty blender part, like really small beauty blender. And then this side is for like your eyelids, so. And then, so that they stay in here, they ha it has like these this little thing in there to make them stay and then it's like a little plastic cup type thing then I got this at Hot Topic it's a mirror and I thought that this was cute because if you know this about me but I love stitch things so it has stitch on the front and he's so cute and it says on the back here it was three dollars and it was on clearance so that's a why not just get it and also, I got this from Five and Below. It's the little Tsum Tsum character of Stitch. And it's lip gloss. So it's kind of like the Eos thing. Which is neat. And after I like the lip gloss is gone, then I could just use it as a little decoration. And then some other things that don't really go with makeup, but... I thought I would share with you guys is this little purse thing. I think it's supposed to be like a coin purse, but it could be like a little makeup bag. I'm using it as like a coin purse and I had some money in there, but I took that all out. So inside, it's actually pretty big. It has a lot of space. And again, it has stitch on it, which is fabulous. Then another thing that I got, oh yeah, I got that from Hot Topic. And then I got this brush from Hot Topic that is stitch theme again. And I don't really know how much this was. It was probably like $10 or something. But I just thought that I should get this since I don't really have like my own brush that's mine. And then I got some earbuds from Hot Topic that say they were $12.50. And again, they're Stitch. Oh, and then the last thing that I got, I got this off of eBay. But it's a little Stitch plush and I love him so much. I think he was like $12 off of eBay, but... I love it so much and I don't regret buying it. <laughs> so it was worth the money. You can get like stuff off of eBay. I'm sure you guys know that, but that was like the first time that I went on eBay and I was like, oh, how about I search for a Stitch Plush? And guess what I got? This little guy. So that's about it for this video. And before I end the video, I just want to say <laughs> Happy 4th of July, as you can tell, I'm wearing my 4th of July shirt. So, in the comments, you should tell me what you're doing for the 4th of July, if you're watching this video today, or tell me what you did for the 4th of July, if you're watching this video in the future. Anyway, that's it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Bye, Visit fans. See you next time.